Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode three of Let's Play Wyvern. Good news, guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You will be hearing music in this one because I believe the uh, music is fixed now. We'll see. Um, I'm in my home, actually, using WASD to move. Login bonus of lightweight broad axe speed plus four. Um, let's go ahead and make this full screen. So let's go ahead and wield that. Need a free hand, so let's get rid of our dagger. Wield this bad boy. You do not have enough free hands. Oh, it's two-handed, so we have to get rid of our... have a shield a lot to get to in this game today uh, we'll talk about it in a bit um, I guess I have to unwield my orcish bow in order for this to happen so we're not going to do that um, dun, dun, dun. all right let's leave our house you can hear the music working okay all right <clears throat> once this loads in here we go so let's see what we've got here uh, we need 598 more XP first thing I want to do is create what's called an alias um, and this auto fire on one connection closed by a server why did that happen when I pressed one? Hmm. <clears throat> All right, let's try something different here. Let's try alias auto fire on Z. Okay, Z is already doing something. Hmm. Alright, let's try again. Alias, auto fire on. Um. Off X. Unrecognized command X. Hmm. I don't know if that's working. I guess we'll find out when we start fighting some enemies. But basically, aliases are how you create hotkeys. Let me see if I can go fight some enemies at the newbie house here. All right, let's see if we're auto-firing. We're not auto-firing. Hmm. Okay, let's try something else here. Alias, auto-fire on... to... B? B. Huh, it's not auto firing. Wonder why not. I am a wood elf, so I have auto fire. Um, hmm. And I should be playing with auto fire on. Earmuffs, auto grab, killed score, score, last debt, last tell, last shout. Swim, show warn, cast list, train, skills, mission, 
body shop list dash all sell inventory shout um hmm is there another way to do this Maybe I'm not typing in the correct alias. Um, and one kind of takes us out here. Hmm. Be right back, guys. All right, we're back. All right. Thanks to somebody on the Discord, I believe you. Uh, sh uh, you should be able to do it now. Alias. Um... Z auto fire on. There we go. You turn on auto fire and then alias X auto fire off. Turn off auto fire. Turn on auto fire. Excellent. Okay. So there we go. We'll learn more about aliases. Um, there's other stuff we can do with our starting gear. We can head. And we should be entering these houses and stuff and talking to people. The butterflies in my way. There should be an area up here. I think it's the magic shop. Where we can enchant something, perhaps? Um. Identify table. Spell books. Wands. Um, hmm. Somewhere around here, there should be a place to identify armor and weapons, maybe. No. But anyway. We're just going to be exploring more of Wyvern today and checking out the different features and stuff. Here's a house. Let's go ahead and talk to you. Sometimes using artifacts is your best option. Please visit the Adventurers Guild in New Verdon and speak with the Lumberjack there. Hmm, okay. it is this house no this is just a house can I raid their bureau no Ooh, a bag you pick up a bag bag is empty see lots of old books Okay, now I'm auto-firing. Wait a minute, what am I doing down here? Can I talk to you guys? Or you? What are you doing in my house? I don't know, bro, just checking out stuff? There's auto-fire, just shooting. What is that? Treasure pile. 59 silver coins. So idle fire is a skill that wood elves start with and other classes or other um, group, other races have to pick up at the archer's guild. Okay, there's something. Some sort of green slime goo. 200 silver coins in the crate. Cool. We found a little adventure just by exploring. Hundred seventy silver coins. Lots of ways up, interestingly enough. White gem in a bag. Let's go up one and see where we end up. Kalami's Memorial Tower. 
Oh, it's underneath the pond. Interesting. Is there anything on the giant rat corpse? No. Sign. This way to the egress. I don't know what the egress is. I'm just killing and picking up some stuff. 120, you suddenly feel very cold. Okay, I'm worried here. Who are you? Oh, blue gem. Baffle, I spy you startling you. Okay, here is a sign. There's a weapon shop. We're just below... Um, New Verdant. So let's check out this weapon shop. Uh, see what they've got. We've got a hunt. We've got one thousand eight hundred thirty-seven. Elven bow and Elven dagger. Um, is this the Elven bow? Rustproof Orcish bow of durability. Orcish bow. Um, where would the elven bow be? Uh, is that it? Lump of damage. Throwing knives. Um, I cannot yet spot items, basically, by what they are. Crossbow. Greetings, adventurer. I have all your weapon needs. I could just find the elven bow. Is that it? Elven bow. Okay. Let's, um... Oh, wait. Click it and appraise it. Durability 1200. Stab bonus... 12... And if we check out the Orcish Bow, stab damage bonus, stab damage bonus three and durability two hundred. So we're gonna actually buy the Elven Bow. Now for an Elven Dagger, which seems like it would be good to have. Elven Broadsword would be nice. Um, Cutlass. Is that the Elven Dagger? Yeah. If we appraise that. Stab damage 15. And if we appraise our own dagger. Uh, stab damage 15. But durability is only 500 compared to. Uh, 2400 of the Elven Blade. Let's go ahead and pick up the Elven Blade too. Why not? It's cheap. Ready the bow and wield the dagger. Very good. Um, sell inventory. Okay, we sold a few things. We can unkeep the bow. Um, sell inventory again. Uh, let's unkeep the dagger. Unkeep this bow. Um, arrows do come back to you in this game, which is good to know. That's why our arrows keep coming back to us. Oh, we can't sell those two items. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted in here. Um, yeah, much better with the music too. Don't you guys agree? Cycle bin. Stairs. Okay. What is this up here? Baby Wyvern is carrying green gem. I don't want to kill the baby Wyvern. What is this?
this place here? Archery Pavilion. Read me. Okay, it teaches you how to alias the auto fire. Possible alias a single key to fire. Master Archer. Oh. When using the autofoil command, you automatically retrieve an arrow from your quiver inventory that will deal the most amount of the damage you are fighting, which is nice. Automatically picks your best elemental arrows. For instance, arrows of Slay Demon will do a lot of bonus damage to demons, and it'll automatically pick that. Key things to be aware of when playing an archer is your primary means of attacking should be auto-firing. So usually you have to join the archer's guild at level 10, which grants you auto-fire auto if you're not a wood elf. Okay. Wise to learn a few points of fine weakness and strength. Strength skill increases the amount of damage you do with ranged weapons, except for pixies. You need to keep your ranged skill as high as possible. Mix the type of armor their way to gain, wear to gain as many benefits as possible. Some archers have been known to cast their own resist spells while wearing cloth armor. Others wear a mixture of leather and plate armors. Um, another thing about armor is that you will bungle your spells in it. So if we go ahead and try to cast minor healing, you bungle the spell. That is because we're wearing orcish chainmail. So if we unwear that and wear our elven wizard robe... Must be at least level 10, dang. Okay, but we if we cast this now, you're completely healed. We should also alias them. Um, let's go ahead and alias one. Cast minor healing. And alias two. Cast knock. There's nothing to unlock here. So just some little things that we can learn. Archery. Oh. Hmm. Find weakness is an excellent skill to have as an archer. Check the townspeople or adventures guilds for additional missions. Okay. All right. Let's get out of here. Very cool. Let's head back to that underground lair. Whose house is this? Use fishing hole. Whoa, giant. Binyamin? Binyamin, that stiff owes me close to seven platinum with his bar tab. You can never trust a wizard these days, I guess. Sure, go fishing. Five gold. Just watch out for old newbie hunter. He's a big un. He might just eat you. What is this stuff? Orange, meat on a stick. Different foods, which we don't need. Bartender. What will it be, bub? this patron here we're doing barmaid greetings adventure take a seat anywhere i'll be with you in a moment use edible wonders read all kinds of stuff elf ear stew mocha shoggoth bonbons i have no idea Push the boulder. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh. Auto firing and killed a. Oh, we got a white gem. Treasure box down here. Red gem.
different spots under the small fountain. Um, I've seen if you come in here, there is combat. Kiyalami's tower. The spirits of Kailami and Kailami's descendants lie within. Please allow them to rest in peace. Scratch on this sign is the following addition or else. Here lies a soldier that followed Kailami and Kailami into battle. Oh, maybe there wasn't combat here. Oh, there is. Go ahead and auto fire. <clears throat> Killing some zombies. <clears throat> There's adventure all over the place. Are these webs generators? Cobweb, no, just a cobweb. Pick up one rock. Ooh, chainmail sheet, ru shield, rusty cuirass. Picked up a spear. Move a green gem, 130 silver coins, a skull. <laughs> Whoa. Seems the path forward has been obscured by ancient magic. <laughs> Oh, I can't go forward because of ancient magic. It won't let me go forward. I was pressing up and nothing was happening. All right. Place to return to, I guess. What about the basement? Cleansing of Kailami Tower. Make it rid of the top of Kailami Tower and purge it of its corruption. I am charged with looking after Kailami's resting place. Place. Greetings, Solomar. I'm the keeper of the Kailami Tower. Kailami was one of the Valkyrie warriors who fought against Wyvern's first evils. We'll accept it. Is he going to let us up? Or raise the magic uh, barrier. So we should be able to continue now. Let's see. No, I still can't go up. Shoot. Hmm. I don't know how we expect to get to the top. I don't have the magic or whatever it takes to get up there. So, what's this? Hmm. What is this here? Church. Oh, here come skeletons. Are we shooting them? There we go. skeletons, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Ornamental sword, shield. Let's try going in the basement of the foggy church. Oh, it's another path down here. All right, what do we have here? General store. Mm, don't need anything at the general store right now. We have 4,300. I guess I do need something at the general store. I don't know why I'm moving so slowly. 
Uh, let's go ahead and sell inventory. Sell all that stuff. We didn't pick anything good up, right? No. No, not sell all. Oh, I guess I sold. Oh, I was encumbered. My bad. Okay, I sold all that. Let me go ahead and shout. Where in New Verdon can I enchant? I want to go ahead and f enchant something. Blacksmith. Okay, where is the blacksmith? Teacher's Guild. House. Blacksmith, here we are. Let me go ahead and shout thanks. Blacksmith says, this is hard work. Okay, we want to come up here to our enchanting machine. And pretty much enchant everything we can. Uh, let's enchant our elven bow to a plus one. Yes. Is now soulbound. You cannot trade it or sell it. Let's go ahead and enchant our elven dagger. Enchant our speed boots. Oh, we must remove the speed boots to place it in the enchantment machine. Speed boots plus one. If we enchant it too high, we won't be able to wear it until a certain level. Let's go ahead and enchant our helmet, which is not any kind of special helmet, but make it a helmet plus one. Um, bow and dagger will not enchant. All right. He looks like he has some nice pieces. Let's head now to the training hall and spend a few more skill points. Blades, blunt, polearm. This is swords ranged. Okay, we add another skill point to range for three. Fire, earth, evocation, enchantment, incantation, meditation, air. What about life? Lore, uh, get another point of lore. Death, mind, spirit. What is minor healing? The life element determines the level of effectiveness. Let's get some life magic. Life. There we go. Let's get another point of life. And uh, that's good for now. What do you have to say? Skill points. Use the skills command. Let's go ahead and check that again. You have minus three skill points. You were able to overtrain because of a bug in the game. Your skill points have been restored to normal, and you'll have to untrain four points before you can train again. Oh. I see. Okay, let me go untrain then. <clears throat> Untrained ranged weapons. Wait a minute. You have negative two skill points. Um. 
get rid of a point of dodging. And a point of another point of ranged weapons. There. I don't... No, I don't want to install... Uh, oh, well. All right. Fix that bug. Now, what do you have to say, sir? Street cleaner says, you better not have dropped any of this garbage, which littering is against the law. The Wyvern Post Explorer. The monks of Wyvern are in, your are need in need of your help. The Wyvern Post Del Delivery Service is overwhelmed with so many letters to the other monks. They could use your help to deliver their correspondence. If you'd like to help speak to Brother Joshua within these premises. This quest is those for those players who love to explore. It will especially help new players above level 4 and below level 10 learn the layout of the land. There are very few monsters to fight and by the end you will know your way around the continent quite well. There is approximately 20 deliveries. Good luck. 7 quest points. Um, can I just peek in this chest? Remove the orange from the chest. Remove the potion from the bag. Nice. Um, I'm not actually going to do that just yet. Well, ooh. Picked up a skull. things. Kobolds. Move the curved knife. Picking up some loot. Let's get rid of that. Generator. Chest is locked. We picked it. Move the red gem. There's another generator. Let's get rid of that. Feel free to fire. <laughs> I guess the skulls are worth money. Blue gem. Because they do drop occasionally. Davos. This tunnel leads to the town of Davos. I mean, it's easy XP and loot, right? 150 silver coins. I didn't see the generator there. Alright, let's head back. I don't want to go to Davos right now. Very cool that we can head under the well to get there. Let's head to the uh, adventure hall. Actually, let's head back to sell all this stuff. I don't think we picked up anything good. What was in this house? Huh, a door. Oh, I see. Adventure. We'll get to that. Venture around every corner here, folks. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Let's go ahead and sell all. We're up over 5,000 gold. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this adventure. Miriam. You can use your map, even in a town or building, to see the name of the map you're in and to see where all possible exit points are. Try it out now using your map in your inventory. When you're done using your map, say okay to me. Um, 
apply. You're in Miriam's house. Location today. There are multiple exits from this map. Um, say Miriam. Okay. Wait. Tell Miriam. Okay. Nobody named Miriam online. Say okay to me. Say okay. Good. Another cartographer is waiting just outside New Vernon for you. Please visit Lizzie him to learn more on how to use your map. I'd actually like to come in here, pull this lever, and get to shooting. Wolves. They're spawning from all over the place. Getting good XP for them. Bone and a bit of fur. Oriole. Hmm, can't go across there. This most pleasant map. Is that an apple down there? Red gem. Thank you. Beware of dog. Wolves are tough. Don't end unless you're at least level three. Should have read that first, eh? Well, I do want to explore all around. Such as this. K-Ration Potion. Of rug, potion, and a quiver. Nice. Seems to be a reason to go in every house thus far. Rachel's house. Note from Rachel. Notice this is a quest area, level four and up. Interesting. Where's the note from Rachel? I have to make it full screen. Oh, I can't. Why isn't it? Hmm. Note from Rachel. It's hidden underneath my taskbar here. Um. Let's go ahead and go to taskbar settings. Automatically hide. <laughs> oh, I didn't save it, did I? Automatically hide, yeah. There we go. Oh, it's still not down there. The note from Rachel. Note from Rachel. Read. here. Read no from Rachel. No? Hmm. Oh, if you need information on this quest, please go to New Verdon's Adventure Guild quest library and read the book for this quest. Okay. Rachel's cat is missing. Can you find, help her find it? Find Rachel for information. Beware, there are many CD characters out there after a reward for this cat. They'll kill you if they can, so be careful if you see anyone else out there. For those who have already helped Rachel find her cat, the forest has become a favorite spot to test their skills against each other. This quest is recommended for level 4 and up. Got an orange and an apple. A couple torches. 
All right, let's go to the Adventurers Guild and read about that. The quest library is where. Quest library this way. So this way. Desk. Artifact vending machine. Yeah, you can't keep these forever, though. I don't want an artifact right now. I want to find the quest library. Um, it's probably... They probably mean these steps here. No? Maybe not. Oh, through here. Okay. Quest library. Easy quest listing. This floor. Orb of Knowledge. You have not solved any quests. Questing guide. Wow, there's a lot of questing uh, information. One of the many things you can do in Wyvern is solve quests. Questing is a time-consuming activity, but can be highly rewarding. It's fun when you finally solve a quest and get a ton of experience for doing it. Wyvern has several major quests shown here, and also several many, many, many quests that involve running an errand of some sort for an NPC. Sometimes many quests will be strung together to form a larger quest. Questing gives you several benefits. Some quests give you treasure or special items you can't find anywhere else in the game. Your quest points are used as part of the calculation for your position in the Wyvern High Score list. Most guilds require you to solve a specific quest before you can join. How do you solve a quest? Every quest is different, but usually it's a mix of the following. Talking, searching, killing, exploring. Yeah. This is stuff we know. Quest designers try to provide hints where to look, but not everything you can do necessarily has a hint. Common things to look for when you're questing. Illusionary walls. But you can walk through objects that you can search or uncover hidden items, secret levers or buttons you can activate, invisible teleporters that whisk you away to hidden maps. If you get completely stumped, keep trying. Questing gear, make sure you're properly prepared, make sure you're high enough level, best equipped. It's dangerous, a quest item. Yeah, I think we can do this. Gardner's amulet, Rachel's cat. I'd like to help Rachel go to her small house in the western side of New Ferdinand. Well, that's what we did. And nothing happened here. Note from Rachel. It's very early morning. Hmm. Maybe I have to go take the quest at the, uh, at the board here. The mission board. Rachel's cat. There it is. Cat is missing, except, all right, let's see how much time we've been playing. Uh, go ahead and X that out. We've been playing 43 minutes, so I'm going to save here. Uh, next time we're going to help Rachel and her cat out but we made some progress today it was a lot of fun hope you enjoyed we're going to be playing a lot more of this this is let's try uh, with or not let's play but we're still going to be trying it a lot more so thank you so much for watching if you made it this far really appreciate you hope you enjoyed much love peace and joy guys I'll catch you next time take care